eventually we will like subscribe share help promote my channel and all that good stuff so I have a big problem another there's another big problem with the CW the flash again uh, and it's DC shows, it's DC actors, it's DC heroes, or whatever. And so the Flash star, Candace Patton, endorses the idea that white privilege comes from generations of erasure and genocide and so on. Okay, first of all, if we're not allowed to speak on black topics or what it, how are these black why are these black people constantly allowed to speak on white topics huh you can't say that white privilege exists first of all white privilege does not exist it's ridiculous and it's absolutely just appalling that people keep on supporting this idea and endorsing this idea like it's a real thing it's not stop acting like children and admit that your problems are not the fault of white people, okay? Not all of them. So the Flash star Candace Patton recently endorsed the idea that white privilege stems from generations of eraser, genocide, and enslavement. Patton endorsed this idea when she shared a modified quote from them. Covenant creator Little Marvin. Little Marvin posted a series of slides to his Instagram addressed to his white friends. To my white friends who have said any of the following over the past few days, I can't believe what I'm seeing right now. I don't even know what to do right now. I wasn't raised like this. It's unbelievable. I don't recognize our country anymore. It's because he awakened the worst in the in US in us. It's because he awakened the worst in us. Why is this shit still happening? How did we get here? When will it end? What can I do? Here's what I say. So, in the second slide, he addressed a number of comments he had hearing from his white friends. He wrote, There is no history in this country that isn't shared, dear friend. And yet often, yet too often, it feels like one of us is left holding the bag in times like this. And it's heavy. And it's exhausting. And it's also a lot. Um... Little Marvin continued, If I'm forced to relive the vile contract signed by this country every time an unarmed black man or woman, our child, is terrorized or murdered by a white person before my eyes, then you, dear friend, must as well. Okay. First of all, white people, anytime a white person's wrongfully murdered or something, White people don't react in massive protests that result in looting and terrorizing the country. And I'm not just making this a race argument like all black people are guilty. They're not. But always, always blaming white people for everything has gotten ridiculous. People need to grow up and stop acting like there's just some unfair advantage in life. And that all white people are monsters and white people are just horrible. This in itself is racism and oppression. He then added, remember, and this may be uncomfortable to hear, your white skin, your white skin privilege is not a big, okay, okay. It's just ridiculous and it is racism at this point. These people are being racist. White people that claim white privilege exist and all that they're only helping and endorsing the idea and they're creating just influencing and instigating the problem people need to stop acting like whiny brat little children and accept that life is just hard and your disadvantages in life has nothing to do with the skin color of somebody else when opportunities are given to minorities based on their skin color opportunities at schools opportunities <laughs> it's just affirmative action i mean come on how can we not deny that that's some kind of privilege for other races anyways he continued it is a benefit occurred over generations of erasure and genocide and enslavement and torture and capture and segregation and redlining and predatory landing and prison pipelining and exclusion and dismal uh, 
It, it just goes on and gone. This is hate speech. This is literally hate speech. When you go on and make these rants, like all white people are guilty, guess what? That is hate speech. When you blame a race as a whole, based on their skin color, that is hate speech. That is racism. This right here, that is racism. That is hate speech. So the Instagram post continued. This is not my movement to answer for you. This is not this is not my moment to answer to you to answer for you for god's sakes get it together man this is not our problem as black and brown and indigenous people to solve for you and this is not the time to disappear dear friend on the contrary please do the very comfortable uncomfortable work of listening without defense speak to each other gather read there are many wonderful resources out there white Fragil uh, uh, right white fragility by Robin D'Angelo D'Angela is a fantastic place to start. Why are racist books like this allowed to be on the shelf if everything else is cancelled and shut off and people are <laughs> doxxed and people are censored and cut off from platforms but stuff like this it's all okay as long as your skin color is a certain way who really has the privilege so little Marvin added ask yourself what we've grown comfortable accepting seek out and shame those amongst you who seek to turn back the clock nobody's seeking to turn back the clock <laughs> well there are probably a few people out there but a very few people so I, I just think all this stuff is actually racist in itself it is actually hate it is hate based on skin color it is oppression based on skin color the fact that they are trying to white guilt you he then urged his followers to call out microaggressions in real time recognize your own do what you can to open spaces and reform systems that have ensured your own mobility to to the detriment and stagnancy of others block to board room he concluded get vocal get moving make it public our history is shared this moment is shared it's not just mine it's yours uh, and then Patton would seemingly endorse little Marvin's message and shared a modified version of the third slide to her Instagram prefacing it writing his full post is worth a read. This is just the most popular part. You're white. Okay, so Candace Patton is racist. You don't want to believe that? Believe it right here. Because if she believes that your white skin gives you some kind of privilege, then she's racist. If she believes your white skin makes you guilty, makes you bad, makes you accountable for something you didn't do just because your skin is white guess what candace Patton is racist uh so why is hartley sawyer fired why do people want to come after stephen amell for just trying to point out that sir, some cops are actually good and some cops are bad he ate it. why are people coming after danielle panabaker <laughs> trying to claim that she's racist when all she was doing is trying to interact with the fans with pairings of fictional couples not actually doing anything to undermine her co-star so Patton was the only one that seemingly endorsed the message Supergirl actor Makad Brooks also appeared to endorse it as well he wrote in the comics Patton's into Instagram and we are truly we truly are the embodiment of the American dream. Um, this is racism. That's it. There's no other way to see it. And you want to talk about systematic racism? Well, when you say that that we get ahead in life just because we're white, and when you make uh, claims like that. It sounds to me like you're the one who's putting systematic racism in place. You're the one causing the problem. So, and here, here she is again. The problem is white people see racism. 
hate when racism is bigger than that. Racism is a complex system of social and political levers and pulleys set up generations ago to continue working on behalf of whites at other people's expense. Look, there is no way to get past this, people. Uh, Candace Patton is, is just saying that you're racist. That as long as you're white, that you're racist. And that's, it doesn't matter what you say or do, they act like you're racist no matter what, and, and there is no way for you to even pretend that, that you're any different. Uh, what, what is this nonsense? How is this, how is this kind of real hate speech allowed? Like, if you, look, this is a quote from Scott Woods that she posted, and look at this, it, it just, if you're white, you're white and you're always going to be a problem because you or your skin color makes you the problem <laughs> your your skin color makes you the problem and, and you can you're you're always going to be a problem no matter what you do no matter what you say just the fact that you're white and a certain history happened well you're always going to be at fault it doesn't matter that black people went on to own slaves themselves freed slaves went on to own slaves themselves um, black people enslaved other black people. Um, none of this apparently matters. All that matters is that if your skin color is white, you're a problem. You're a problem and you need to constantly work at lifting up this other race. You need to constantly work at fixing yourself, fixing the problem that you are. And you need to dedicate yourself to doing better for other people based on their skin color because of your skin color so really man in 2014 Morgan appeared to reject or at least downplay this idea when he was asked if race plays a part in wealth distribution Morgan today no no I don't I don't you and I were proof why would race have anything to do with it stick your mind to what you want to do and go with that he added it's kind of like religion to me it's it's a good excuse for not getting there uh, when discussing the news cycle being dominated by race Freeman states and if you talk about it it exists it's not like it exists and we refuse to talk about it but making it a bigger bigger issue then it needs to be is the problem we have uh, that is the problem we have making it a bigger issue than we it's like when Morgan Freeman talked about Black History Month you know we are consistently not not all of us but the media definitely Hollywood definitely people like this that have a lot of influence and a lot of reach spouting this nonsense they definitely make the problem bigger than it needs to be. Um, anyway, so let me know your thoughts. Let me know what you think of all this. It's really sad to see that's, that this is the way things are. That certain people can be openly racist. And I mean, it's, it's so funny when we talk about privilege due to race and privilege that's systematic and all that our racism that's systematic and, and it's just really disgusting honestly it's honestly disgusting and it needs to stop we're never going to move past this if people don't keep if people don't quit making it a bigger issue than it is the way she is here anyways like subscribe share let me know your thoughts and opinions down below really comment on this um a good one eventually we will stay awesome rock on